Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's not. We're gonna start transformation of the uh, suspension parts. We got some painters tape that we'll tape up some stuff with, and uh, we're kind of gonna keep it easy because I can't take both the front and the rear suspension off or up. So uh, I'll probably get the grinder out to grind uh, the leaves, get them all nice and cleaned up and then we'll uh, put them down a piece of cardboard over there I don't know if you can see it and paint them and then we're gonna paint uh, some of this back end here that we can't can get to basically we're gonna take this bar off here clean it real good and uh, tape up the ends and paint that matte black and then we're gonna do the same with these take these off clean them up real good and uh, spray them matte black. Would like to do some more in the front, but uh, can't lift it to like put on jack stands, I guess. But uh, I just want to kind of get these done uh, this evening. And I think we're gonna wait to paint this until we get somebody out here to weld. Because there's no welds, light coming in, no welds through here, it's just, I don't know where it's tacked into it. Oh, it's just tacked right there. And that's it. it needs to be knocked over this way. This one has a little bit more welds, but it's not good. I can't even get this thing out, see how bad it moves? This one, a little bit stronger, but still, it uh, needs some work. But uh, anyways, we'll worry about that later. But today, it's just going to be this, that, that, and all these leaves here. Get them all ground down and painted. But enough chit-chat, let's uh, get to work and uh, get some of this knocked out before it gets too late. Really, before it gets too cold, because it's uh, pretty cold here in Oklahoma today. I think it's in the 30s this morning. It's probably in the lower 40s now, but get this where the sun goes down and it really drops. But, uh, anyways, let's get to work. We got a little dust in here now, but uh, these didn't turn out too bad. They do got some kind of pitting on them, depending on whether or not to hit them with the, that flap disc, kind of shine them up a little bit. But I'd be completely fine with just kind of clean them off and paint them. That being said, I may go ahead and paint da, 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 two of these now, and then we'll do this, because I have to flip them over and try not to get on the concrete, but we'll clean these two smaller ones off, <clears throat> and we'll uh, come down here and throw some of this... Uh, Rust tough, semi flat enamel over it. See, see how well it works. But let's uh, go there and get them cleaned up and chop with some paint. That uh, paint came out pretty good. It just looks black. Black. Uh, don't really see any runs. Uh, we'll let that dry for a little bit. 
and then we'll come back and flip them over and hopefully get the backs painted and then they'll be ready to uh, put together. And in the meantime, go ahead and take uh, these off and that and tape them up, clean them off. I'm debating on hanging them from the ceiling somewhere with a piece of wire. I think I might do that. Might be easiest. And uh, that way we can paint all around at one time. But uh, get these off right quick. And then we'll uh, get those clean and painted as well. All right. Uh, you can see we got the two. I don't know what they call those. Uh, got them off. We do need to do just a tad bit of grinding on these welds just to kind of knock them down a little bit. And we're going to tape these ends up. And we're going to put them on. Hopefully this will hold it. It was a little heavier than I expected. But we got three hooks here. We got this one on there as well. I got some little rust right there, so we'll kind of go over that with some sandpaper and get this thing painted because that's still kind of tacky. And uh, I know my wife wants to park in here tonight, so we may call it good on that for now, and I'll just finish that later. But I do want to get these kind of ground down and painted. That way, maybe tonight by midnight, I can uh, put everything back in here. But uh, let's get these cleaned off. And ground down a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much. Just want to kind of knock the tops off. Make it look just a hair bit better. And then we'll uh, get it painted. So let's get to that. Got them ground down. They're they're okay. I can live with it. I just didn't like the sharp peaks. Gonna rub down some steel wool, and then we'll uh, tape the ends up and hang them and paint them. We got them all hung up, cleaned off. Just need to put some painter's tape on the ends and I think we'll be ready to put some paint on these pieces. But uh, so let them dry for a minute and then we'll get to painting and see what they look like. Let's see what we accomplished. Uh, I think they look pretty good. They're still wet. I got some runs, but I think these will work fine. Somebody shooting. At least we got all the rust taken care of. And hopefully this stuff will dry this evening because Oh, I missed a spot right there. Touch that up. Look under here. But we'll get this uh, these taken down and these picked up. It's not leaving any pain on my fingers. A little bit more shinier than I thought it would be. But, uh, this should work. Somebody's really getting after it. Uh, I don't know what they're shooting at. It's getting dark, so I'm assuming they're probably not hunting. I don't know. Anyways, uh, 
other than the little spot I got to touch up, I think these are going to come out good. Uh, a little bit more shinier than I thought they'd be. It's supposed to be a flat, semi, well, it's a semi flat black. Now, what I got? Yeah, semi flat. So, there would be a little sheen to it, which I guess I, I don't think it'd be bad. You're kind of contrasting to the frame a little bit, but I think it'll work out for the best. Anyways, I, I like how they look regardless, so uh, probably <laughs> we're going to finish these uh, leaf springs out off camera, get everything ready. Hopefully I can have somebody come up and help me weld up some stuff. We can finish the frame out and the suspension back here. And then we can get that all cleaned and painted. Be my that's my big hold up right now. Is the back shock perches and that uh, steering box mount. If we got that painted well, then, then we could just keep on going. But uh, we can do some more stuff up front if we run out of uh, things to paint, and uh, just kind of keep keep progressing. But if you like this kind of stuff, uh, please stick around. We'll be on this probably this winter, getting it ready for spring, and hopefully we'll be driving it by spring. That's my big plan. And then we'll jump back on the Bronco, which we got to flip that brace around. <sighs> anyways, uh, that's kind of thing. Please like, comment, subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot. If you made it to the end, uh, please put an amble in the comments below so I know you made it. Uh, and if you did, thank you for sticking around. That really helps the channel out tremendously, sticking around to the end. It uh, really helps my channel kind of grow. But regardless, uh, thank y'all for your support. And I think we're at 929, so uh, we're getting close to 1,000. And we'll do another giveaway to 1,000. But uh, stick around. We got plenty more to do and uh, to go through. Got these two projects in here, and hopefully in the near future we'll be working on another one. Got another two. But uh, anyways, thank you again. I'll see you next week.